Before we dive in, I want to ask for just one thing, an open mind. Some of the ideas we'll explore today might sound far-fetched, even a little out there. But history has shown us time and time again that what seems impossible today can become reality tomorrow. As someone who's taught computer science for years, I've always encouraged my students to think critically about technology. Not just what it can do, but what it could mean. With breakthroughs like Google Willow and Starlink, it's exciting to dream about what's possible. But it's also important to pause and ask the big questions. What happens if these tools are misused? What if they influence reality in ways we don't fully understand? Think about Einstein, who was once dismissed for his theories that bent the fabric of reality. Literally. Gravitational waves, an idea he proposed over a century ago, weren't confirmed until 2015. What seemed impossible back then has now redefined how we understand the universe. Could we be standing at a similar crossroads today? Let's talk about Google Willow, a quantum computing marvel that has been described as the biggest technological leap since humanity discovered fire. Willow isn't just another quantum computer. It's a breakthrough so advanced that it processes data at speeds beyond anything we've ever imagined. It has the potential to solve problems previously deemed impossible, whether it's unlocking the mysteries of disease, modeling complex ecosystems, or even cracking the toughest cybersecurity codes. Then there's Starlink, Elon Musk's sprawling satellite network that blankets the Earth with global internet connectivity. Together, Google Willow and Starlink represent a convergence of technologies that could redefine not just how we interact with the world, but how the world interacts with us. These technologies hold immense promise curing diseases, bridging the digital divide and opening new doors to innovation. But as we celebrate these advancements, we must also ask, what happens if this power is concentrated in the hands of a few? Could this incredible infrastructure, Google Willow's quantum computing, paired with Starlink's global reach, become a tool not just for connection, but for control? Imagine this. Google Willow's quantum computing power combined with Starlink's satellite connectivity to create an invisible system capable of influencing how we perceive reality. Sound like science fiction? Maybe even a little crazy. Stick with us just a bit longer. We promise we're not putting on tin foil hats here. Let's break it down step by step and you can decide for yourself. Google Willow isn't just fast, it's revolutionary. With its ability to process massive data sets in seconds, it can solve problems that would take traditional computers years or even centuries. Meanwhile, Starlink's satellite network ensures near instantaneous communication, delivering internet access to the most remote corners of the Earth. When you combine these two, you have a system that touches nearly every aspect of human life. Real-time data analysis powered by quantum computing with a delivery system capable of reaching every individual on the planet. At first glance, this sounds incredible. A system that could prevent disasters, optimize resources, and even predict future trends. But it also raises unsettling questions. What happens when this power is used not just to analyze, but to influence? Imagine this. Google Willow's quantum computing power combined with Starlink's satellite connectivity to create an invisible system capable of influencing how we perceive reality. Sound far-fetched, maybe? But history is full of examples where people trusted narratives that turned out to be carefully crafted illusions. Take the case of the Piltdown Man, a so-called missing link in human evolution, widely accepted by scientists for decades before being exposed as a forgery or the infamous Hitler Diaries touted as a historical treasure only to be revealed as a fake upon closer examination. These historical examples show how easily narratives can shape belief and quantum-powered algorithms could amplify this tenfold, creating a future where perception is subtly curated without our awareness. Now, fast forward to today. In this Google Willow-powered future, data could be processed and disseminated in ways that subtly shape what we see, hear, and believe. Imagine a news feed tailored so precisely to your preferences, it feels like it's reading your mind. But instead of informing you, it's guiding your thoughts and actions. 
Narratives could be controlled, ideologies promoted, and decisions subtly nudged on both personal and societal levels. This creates what we might call a quantum feedback loop. Google Willow analyzes your behavior, Starlink delivers the results back to you, and your reactions are fed into the system to refine its influence. Like the stories of the Piltdown Man or the Hitler Diaries, this subtle manipulation could blur the line between reality and illusion. Could this become a quantum prison, a reality curated by algorithms where human autonomy quietly erodes? Starlink's promise of universal connectivity isn't just a concept, it's already changing the game. In 2022, during the protests in Iran, the government shut down internet access to suppress dissent and isolate its citizens from the world. Enter Starlink, providing a lifeline of communication that bypassed state control. For the people on the ground, this was more than just technology, it was empowerment. And more recently, during the Ukrainian-Russian conflict, Starlink proved indispensable. Early in the war, Russian strikes targeted Ukrainian communication infrastructure, cutting off internet and phone services. Starlink stepped in, offering an alternative network that kept the Ukrainian government, military and civilians connected. In a time of chaos and uncertainty, this connectivity was a critical tool for resilience. These examples highlight the transformative potential of Starlink, especially in times of disruption. It can circumvent censorship, support freedom and empower those in need. But this same reach and power come with serious questions. A network capable of connecting anyone, anywhere, could just as easily restrict or manipulate that connection. Imagine a future where information is curated and delivered directly to individuals. No oversight, no checks, no accountability. While Starlink has been a beacon of empowerment during challenging times, its immense capabilities also raise concerns about potential misuse. Imagine a future where the same network that enables connection could be weaponized to disrupt or control communication. Hypothetically, Starlink satellites could be used to interfere with, manipulate or even degrade communications with precision and reach unlike anything we've seen before. For instance, consider jamming. Starlink satellites operate on specific radio frequencies and by transmitting strong signals on those same frequencies, they could create interference effectively jamming communication for targeted areas. Unlike traditional jamming methods, Starlink's global network could execute this with unprecedented precision and scope. Then there's the possibility of spoofing or data injection. Hypothetically, Starlink satellites could alter the information being transmitted, redirect traffic to fake websites, or even introduce delays and errors into communication systems. This wouldn't just disrupt the flow of information, it could seed misinformation or undermine trust in critical systems. Another chilling possibility is selective degradation. The system could, in theory, reduce bandwidth, increase latency or cause intermittent outages for specific users or groups. Imagine a world where access to reliable communication becomes a privilege, controlled not by technical limitations, but by deliberate policy or manipulation. The real enabler here is software. Starlink satellites are remotely updated, meaning that changes to their behavior, including the ability to jam, spoof, or selectively degrade services, could be implemented with nothing more than a software update. These capabilities, while speculative, highlight the dual-edged nature of Starlink's power. On one hand, it offers hope and connectivity. On the other, it poses risks that we can't afford to ignore. If a network like this were to fall into the wrong hands, or if its power were to be exploited without accountability, the consequences could be far-reaching. We've already seen the beginnings of this kind of influence. Social media algorithms, for instance, shape the content we consume daily, deciding what's trending, what's relevant, and even what's true. Studies have shown how these algorithms can reinforce echo chambers, amplify division, and manipulate emotions. Now imagine those algorithms supercharged by quantum computing, and delivered globally through Starlink's network. The potential for influence becomes exponential. We've already seen glimpses of this in today's world. Social media algorithms shape the content we consume, deciding what's trending and relevant. Studies show these algorithms can reinforce echo chambers, amplify division and manipulate emotions. 
Now imagine Google Willow supercharging these algorithms with its unparalleled processing power and delivering their influence globally through Starlink. The potential for influence becomes exponential. This isn't just about recommending what to watch next or which products to buy. Imagine a system capable of predicting your behavior, emotions and decisions with uncanny accuracy, shaping your perception of reality in ways you might not even notice. Tailored news feeds, customized search results and algorithmically curated content could subtly nudge societal beliefs, political movements and even individual decisions, all under the guise of personalization. This convergence could create what some might call a quantum panopticon. Borrowing from the idea of a surveillance society, this system could observe and predict human behavior on an unprecedented scale, subtly influencing it without us even realizing it. Imagine this system nudging not just individuals, but entire markets or political landscapes, creating ripple effects that are invisible yet far-reaching. The unsettling part it wouldn't feel invasive. It would feel seamless, blending into everyday life effortlessly. Imagine this. You wake up to a perfectly tailored day. Your smart devices sync your schedule, suggest meals based on your health data, and guide you to avoid traffic. It feels intuitive, almost magical. But what if, behind this seamless convenience, subtle nudges were influencing not just your habits, but your beliefs? A slight bias in the news you're shown, subtle cues in the ads you see, or even the tone of the messages you receive could gently steer your opinions and decisions. And it doesn't stop with individuals. On a societal level, these tools could amplify collective behavior, tipping elections, fueling ideological divides, or stifling dissent. If used without accountability, this quantum panopticon could make traditional propaganda look archaic by comparison. The most unnerving part, it could all feel natural. No alarms, no overt control, just the quiet erosion of free will, one seamless interaction at a time. And by the time we realize it, the infrastructure might be too embedded to change. If this sounds dystopian, it's because it could be, if left unchecked. But it doesn't have to be. Google, Willow and Starlink hold the potential to do immense good, revolutionizing healthcare, education and global connectivity. Yet, this potential can only be realized if these tools are guided by ethical principles and regulated on a global scale. Transparency, accountability and oversight are not just ideals, they are necessities to ensure these advancements serve humanity rather than exploit it. History has shown us what happens when technology outpaces regulation. From data protection scandals like Cambridge Analytica to the emergence of algorithmic bias that marginalizes vulnerable groups, waiting until harm is done is a lesson we can't afford to repeat. With something as powerful as Google Willow and as pervasive as Starlink, the stakes are higher than ever. Proactive measures are no longer just a suggestion. They're essential to prevent irreversible damage. We're not saying this is happening now, and we're not saying it's inevitable. But if we don't start asking these questions and demanding safeguards, we risk losing control over how these tools shape our future. Governments and organizations must act, but individuals have power too. By staying informed, questioning narratives, and advocating for ethical tech development, we can help ensure this powerful combination uplifts humanity rather than confines it. Think of it this way. If regulations had been in place during the early days of the Internet, we might have avoided some of the current challenges. Rampant misinformation, loss of data security, and unchecked data harvesting. Imagine what could be achieved if we took similar proactive steps now before these emerging technologies become deeply ingrained in our lives. Advocating for ethical tech isn't just about holding corporations accountable, it's about empowering ourselves. Ask questions about how your data is used. Support organizations working for digital rights and data protection. Talk to your local representatives about the need for tech regulation. It might feel like a drop in the ocean, but every movement starts with individuals who choose to act. We get it. This might still sound like science fiction, but the trends we're seeing today, from algorithmic influence 
to the centralization of digital power make it worth asking these questions now. History teaches us that the unimaginable often becomes reality faster than we expect. Some may call it crazy, we call it curiosity. Every breakthrough starts with someone questioning the unquestionable. What if we're wrong? What if we're right? Stay curious, stay bold, and never stop questioning, because that's how progress begins. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us next time on Misty Q Time.